Good morning, Robert. <laughs> Good morning, Morten. Hello, so, everybody. Yeah, hello, and uh, welcome to uh, to this little uh, uh, finishing line. I think that finishing line should be uh, uh, maybe the the number one title because I mean, basically, that's what you work with, right? <laughs> that's absolutely correct. Yes, yeah. and. We are we are very professional in our finishing line. Oh yeah, definitely. And uh, I would say that uh, we have actually met each other. Let's talk a little bit about that. But before, maybe Robert, maybe introduce yourself for a second, please. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let me introduce myself. Okay. My name is Robert Gubel, and I'm uh, working with Techno since uh, six years, right? Okay. A little bit, little bit longer, <laughs> I think. I have worked uh, in this industry segment for many, many years. Yes, as you see on my on my gray hair. Yes, and <laughs> I was with. <laughs> we can't hide it, Robert, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can put on my cap uh, if I can. No. Okay, and I have started with Aqua and a lot of experience with uh, Xerox. Uh, more than ten years working for Xerox, and wow. Then I worked also more than 10 years for, for Kodak, so I know both sides. Mm. I know exactly the the, the the printer side, and I know uh, since six years also the finishing world. Yes. Mm. Uh, uh, saying that, Robert, I can't help thinking about because I mentioned uh, uh, in, in the break between, uh, just before you got online here, that uh, uh, next week, Horizon, they have the finishing first event, where I know Techno is also participating. Uh, when you have been on both sides of uh, the printing side and the finishing side, uh, when you meet customers today, uh, I understand, of course, your experience from both sides, but what do you think is the more important thing when you, when you look at a PSP and, and choosing uh, digital equipment for, for their, uh, their, their uh, production? Is that starting with the finishing or starting with the printing side? <laughs> Uh, from my experience, uh, most most of most of the customer they are they are, they are starting uh, from the from the printer side. They yeah. they are choose uh, first of all the printer and then they are uh, take care about about the finishing. Yes, yeah. first of all, it's very important for them okay to to get to get the best uh, uh, print print quality yeah. uh, for a ratio price. Yeah. And uh, but but as, as as you said, okay, print printing is. It's not so much complex as the finishing world because mm. what what you are selling is, is the final product and which comes out of the finishing. Yes. Mm. Yesterday, uh, your colleague uh, Scott from the US he showed uh, an example of uh, I was I was kind of blown away because you basically saw a piece I think you called the rotator where you basically have a, a up to SRA three sheet and then at full speed it just goes in the machine and then it turns 90 degrees and then it continues uh, basically to utilize the best binding for a specific uh, job and I mean if you think I mean when you say for example that it's a little bit more complex with binding than print it's actually because you have a very physical product that it can go from very low grammage to very high grammage right this is exactly the the, the requirements especially from the graphic arts industry mm. okay uh, what 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 we see in the in the market since, since many many years yes as I, as I told you I was also on the, on the printer side and sometimes uh, I had a feeling that I was a kind of missionary yes to uh, <laughs> con convince all the, all the people okay what is digital print but I think now we are at the stage and it's 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 a level that uh, print mm. especially the inkjet printing world mm. is uh, accepts by the market and mm. also by 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 the end customer mm. and we are not only talking about uh, to to do additional intelligent things we are we are also right now also talking about substitute uh, mm. offset print print volume yeah and uh, talking about that it was quite interesting because you and i we met at uh, satla media uh, just a few months ago uh, and that was, of course, in uh, relation with the, the Spring Forward event. Uh, I mean, that setup, you were quite involved in it. And, and some of the things that is quite amazing to see is also that, you know, people thinking about, okay, how can you do lights out production? How can you do, uh, uh, you know, almost unlimited uh, work on digital? And you, for example, have this slicer where it basically automatically slices two rolls uh, while the machine is still running feeds in this case it was rico machines uh, uh feeding directly to the machines to the binding machines and then basically 
piles of paper came out printed beautiful in the other end, right? <laughs> it was very impressive for you, Morten, yeah? Hmm? Oh, oh, okay, so it wasn't impressive for you because you knew. Okay, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we will I... also talk later about, about the zero splice, and I have, mm. I have also uh, one or two slides uh, showing showing the uh, Zatla case, mm. and of course, uh, much more than much more than this. Mm. Uh, before I'm, uh, we're going to see your presentation, Robert, I was uh, just thinking because you mentioned yourself about uh, the uh, the. Uh, I mean, that the technology is evolving to maybe substitute uh, offset uh, printing. Uh, when you uh, visit uh, customers uh, in, in Europe, uh, is it, in your opinion, uh, uh, still a difficult uh, discussion to take? I mean, it, or are PSPs ready to move into this? And how is it from a techno perspective? Do you have the right solutions for, for, for PSPs wanting, wanting to go into the, the digital space and substituting, substituting uh, uh, offset print? Uh, Martin, we have more than 35 years in, in this market, okay. This, this market was uh, dominating by transactional ap applications, but since uh, since some years, okay, everything moved to the, to, to the, to the, to the graphic arts market. And mm -hmm. uh, so uh, what, what, what we see and what we also hear from the customer, okay, that's things in digital printing including with the finishing okay is much more serious and much more accepted also by the customer mm. uh, we are 100 percent on the right way to understand the requirements of the graphic arts industry and and their needs we are cooperating with them we have a lot of discussion with them we are we are listening we are listening to this customer base and uh, we are combining this experience and this discussion also with our engineering. So mm. I am hundred percent sure that that we are that we are fulfill all the needs of this market. But this market is in moving. So the application is uh, are, are changing. Yes, mm. the the printer becoming becomes more faster. The, we are we are talking about a wide wide range of uh, paper. Mm. Yes. So and uh, not not only not only speed but also the the grammages yes are becoming higher higher and higher yeah. and uh, these are challenges as for the printer as also for us as finisher yeah and that is of course uh, always interesting to think about and you know maybe last thing before we see the presentation uh, you mentioned yesterday when we spoke that that um, uh, these days also uh, Canon is having an event where Techno obviously is participating. And I was thinking that, you know, you say that you come from the transactional market, but if you look at the, the print OEMs, they are also moved from maybe have a majority of their market in the, in the transactional market to become like book print, just becoming more like commercial print, even poster prints and, and, and leaflets and magazines and everything like that. So, uh, so the, the work that you have uh, of of convincing uh, the market about change uh, is actually a lot of people working on both from print OEMs and from uh, from uh, you and your colleagues in the industry, right? Yes, that's mm. right. <clears throat> so, Robert, what have you in plan? What do you want to show us today? I wanted to show you as our techno story. Mm. I will point out uh, our new revolution. Mm platform what is revolution 50 of course i will also explain some 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 other topics uh, techno has a very very wide range of products and uh, solution mm -hmm. uh, to talk about to talk about our complete product line and solution i think it would take uh, more than <laughs> more than one hour uh, so we are we are concentrating on our new platform finishing line what is uh, revolution 50 and of course, uh, some words about about techno. Okay, let's start. I will I will uh, be listening to you, but I will mute myself and uh, uh, turn off my camera. And uh, if you have any problems, you just uh, say help, and I will try to help you as much as I can here on the remote. And uh, let's bring in your presentation here. It's still not in presenter mode, so I maybe you need to change the slides in the sidebar, not as a presenter. But let's see what happens. So here we are. Can you see your? You can see what what we see, right? I hope I can see what uh, you see. 
Okay, I see your check now. I see the finishing line, web fetch solutions. So uh, that is what I see. So you see the first slide about TechNow? TechNow presents worldwide? No, I think you basically, because you, you are probably seeing it in presenter mode and, and what you're sharing here on, on the screen is not the presenter mode. So I think you just have to be in uh, the overview mode and basically just click through the slides because uh, I, I don't know how to, uh, to help you. Because normally you, when you click on the, on the share screen and you just select full screen, then it will show uh, also presenter mode. But I don't know what's happening here. So uh, if you can just take it from, from uh, the overview, we can still easily see what's going on. Just a second. Mm -hmm. what, what do you see now? It's still the same. We see the overview uh, of, uh, of uh, the PowerPoint. Do you see any slides moving? I don't see any slides moving. You have to go to PowerPoint, click, uh, uh, end the, the, the presentation mode, Robert, and just show the slides from, from PowerPoint. Uh, I know it looks a little bit different, but that is what we can do right now. What do you see now? It's the same. We only see, I mean, you have a little uh, live view up in, in, the, in the upper corner, so you should be able to see what I see. There is a, 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 I can see your face, and then I can see the, the, the PowerPoint, not in presenter mode, but in edit mode. I am clicking for the next slide. Normally, you must see the slide about techno. Yeah, but you have to do it in edit mode, not in presenter mode, please. You have to do it, Robert, so you can have all the, the, the thumb. Yeah, now I can see your mouse. So yeah, now I can see it. So that is how we can do it now, since it apparently doesn't work with the other one. I will just turn off your camera so we can better see. Okay, can mm -hmm. we start? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, some words about TechNow. Okay, TechNow now presents worldwide uh, who we are. We are a leading supplier of automated paper handling and converting and print quality assurance systems for high-speed digital printing operation. And this for more than 35 years. Our total installed base right now is more than 9,000 systems uh, for high-speed digital presses, but also for other finishing partners' devices. Uh, what we are doing, we are very focusing now, especially on commercial print, direct mail publishing, but as I told uh, in, the, in, in the past, you know, we were also focusing on transactional, but we are also manufacturing many, many other specials like photo and we are, we are covering also other markets. So we are listening to, to the customer and if they ask for, for a special solution, we are also uh, helping our customer. We have in total six operative sites. We, we are close to 230 employees in total worldwide. 55 R&D technicians, this is very important. We spend a lot of money in, in R&D. We have 25 top service level, two service level, three service technician operating also worldwide. And uh, we are working together with distributors worldwide. We are manufacturing on three sites. So we have one production, one manufacturing site in Italy, in the northern part. We have one production site in Sweden and we have one production site in the US. Some words about our new branch. So we have established our new branch in uh, Germany. Uh, we have a new managing director. This is Stefan Klier. Stefan Klier has a lot of experience in the, in the finishing world. He joined us two, two years, two years ago, and uh, he worked many, many years for our competitors, so we have a big, big experience, and uh, he helped us uh, covering, especially the German market. Why the German market is one of the biggest marketplace in the world and very, very important, besides other areas as well. My function is, as I mentioned, okay, I'm the area manager for 
Germany for the German speaking countries, Germany, Austria and Switzerland. And uh, I am also covering the market in greater China and also Taiwan. What we are doing with TechNow Germany, uh, we are focused to provide more services, especially from Germany. And what does it mean? We are, we are providing technical support. We have own technicians in Germany, service level two, service level three. We are doing training for the operator. We, can, we are running remote assist. We are connected with IoT. I will spend some words uh, later on that. Uh, what we will do is spare parts. This is very important to, to have storage of spare parts and parts warehouse. And uh, this is what is very important for the Techno Germany branch. Visit us please in our TEC in Ivrea, the northern part of Italy. So we, here we have a lot of competence and expertise. This is our worldwide destination for techno customers and prospects. And it was, it was ready when the pandemic, pandemic started. So uh, it, it's this techno experience that helped us to do a lot of very interesting demos with customer connecting worldwide. I remember that we had a Chinese demo with more than 20, uh, 25 people uh, joining this uh, demo. So we are very professional and we have learned a lot to do exactly the, the virtual demos. But at least we love to be personal there. And so you are invited to visit us in our TEC in uh, Italy. We have a lot of products available and solutions. Not all products, but our main products are there installed. What is the Revolution 50 stack? Uh, then the Revolution 50 with stream folder. What is uh, for the, our book printing market? Very important. Then we, we also as we'll talk about the Zero Speed Splicer. Well, 40 also the Zero Speed Splicer if they're installed. Of course, we had yesterday the discussion about the cut sheet finishing solution with 1212 and 1010. And one of our very, very important and main products, because this is also a very growing market segment, is our Libra 800 book on demand system, fully automated system, yes, starting from the roll or from the sheet, and you get a finished book by the end of the production. In total, more than 1,500 square meter. We are growing, so and that means okay. We uh, so our my uh, U.S. colleagues moves to a new headquarter in in North Andover. This is outside from from Boston, and uh, we need more space because we are we are growing, as I said. We are working very close uh, to our various printer partners so, and also finishing partners. So. Uh, we have a lot of installation with all name printer partners, as you see on this slide. But let me now introduce our new flagship. This is Revolution 50 series, and this is a new finishing platform, uh, manufacturing on a very robust technology and built for multiple shift operations. Revolution 50, the key design and criteria, and uh, some words about system, system, uh, system features. As I said, very dedicated to the graphic arts industry, but also very useful in the transactional world. We have also installation in the transactional world. I will show you later some of our case studies. Yes, but what is very important, graphic arts running with heavy ink coverage, challenging papers, and uh, request running at higher, higher and higher speeds. So the requirements in the world finishing have constantly changed. What they need is a high reliability, high robustness, high production and very important, okay, everybody's talking about it, Internet of Things compatible with remote access and onboard diagnostic. What does it mean? I will also show you later in another slide. Very important for everybody, for every user and customer no, is the media flexibility. Lightweight paper becoming more and more important because we are 
also entering the pharmaceutical market. Heavyweight and coated stocks, very important for our graphic arts partner. We had two models of cutters. One is a C51 single cut and the next one is a C52 double cut. Yes, uh, very operator friendly, very technician friendly because easily accessible for all the maintenance and uh, also the changing time for a single cut blade for is close to one, one hour. And let us talk about the C52 then we are talking about two hours comparable to other systems was saving a lot of lot of time one example for the robustness as you see here this is a cutting unit yes this is a cartridge section which can be pulled out very easily uh, we are talking here about 500 kilos so robust and heavy manufacturing built for three shifts Other features for the Revolution 50, very important for us, okay, we are, we are running complete tight web with this solution, so that the paper web is permanent, permanent under, under, under control. No loose web is here running. We have a special decurler, especially when running heavy, heavy stock of paper, very important, so also for the quality of the, of the stacks, user-friendly. And what we also have when running slit and merge uh, application, then you have a patented solution of Techno. We have this integrated a punching unit, and the punching unit is just uh, as putting out of the holes. Why? Because then this sucking, yes, the extraction device is much more easily to work. What we also need, and this is also very important because lines becoming more and more complex, is also to have a single bypass sheet option and what we have integrated here in our stacker S51 or S5051L. Uh, even the customer will integrate more finishing devices and uh, so therefore very important to have also this option. Summary of Stack Revolution 50. We are running up to paper width range up to 22 inch, what is 560 millimeters, paper weight 40 to 300 GSM. Uh, our maximum sheet length is with the S51L uh, 30 inch, what is 7602 millimeters. Strip cut, what is is standard and we have also some specials with gutter cut because we uh, can do 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12 and uh, in positions we can we can run up one up of course but also four up why four up we are see also tendency and trends that customer are asking for more postcard production What about Industry 4.0, Internet of Things, and and what and what does it mean, and what we have already implemented? Yes, okay. Our our modules are complete built on Techno Connect platform, so we have a software, and what we can do is we are doing automated services and operator schedules. We have the online complete online documentation. In our system, you have also the online monitoring. You, you see, you see in front of okay remote diagnostic. We can we can run remote diagnostic. We we can run preventive maintenance. We are connecting with intelligent motors and, and drive for the customer. Very important uh, electronic parts catalog, electronic documentation. So remote diagnostic and and, and monitoring and remote assistance and this is a big and great help for, for customer and also for us so that we can we can provide our service then on time on a remote base let us see a small film yes Martin, i will start it here from my from my screen yes
if you prefer, so you... or I can do it from here, then it looks better. I do it from my side, okay? Okay, do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, what a great animation showing the, the uh, all the opportunities you have with the equipment, right? But uh, super great. You have you have a few more slides, right? So I would just uh, let you keep you finished, and I have some questions. Okay. Can you can you hear me? Okay, great, mm -hmm. good, sure, super. Okay, let's let's move forward. Okay, uh, with with our Sattler Media Group installation, this is uh, one of our first customer using the Revolution 50, and also combining with the Zero Speed Splicer, uh, one of the biggest uh, printer companies in uh, in Germany, more than 500 employees, uh, traditional cut sheet offset and uh, web offset printer, and they decided to. To invest into the digital printing, as you see, this is a very very complex installation, and uh, this is a yeah we are calling it a hybrid installation. You see, you see, starting here from the zero splicer, U U40 going into the printer, and straight ahead a complete inline solution uh, running up to our stacker. One up, two up, three up uh, application, and now the new request for for this customer is also to run four up application. But what you also can do is you can you can also run the systems okay roll to roll. So this means zero splicer printing, and then with a rewinder. What does it what does it mean, and what are the benefits for the for the customer uh, if there are some interruptions, for example, anyway in 
that that line okay he can run in a stable process with a roll to roll and he can put the roll into the near line configuration so he can run independent of these two lines but this is a big 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 benefit he can produce roll overnight and then he can he can process the uh, uh, rolls during the another shift on the finishing line another case is in sweden yes but this is uh, more transactional related kjm data distribution also this is the first the first uh, installation in uh, nordic with revolution 50 in that case 51 51 so it need a single cut and stack application but also integrating a dynamic processor here as you can see this is in line with the canon color screen printer 8000 we have many installations in the US and one of one of them is the state of Colorado also integrated document solution also a kind of yes, transactional customer yes but he is also running postcards and tourist brochures and uh, booklets in combination with the VC60000 Then another customer also based in US, DD3. This is also a global supplier of business communication and marketing solutions. So he is doing a lot of mailings, books, saddle stitch booklets. And here in that case, he is using uh, an HP. Yes. So as our installation are very diversified, and you can see on all the cases, okay, that we are offline and online with uh, many various press and manufacturers. For us, it's very important our product strategy. And our product strategy means, okay, that we keep our previous generations of machines in, in a program, yes. Uh, it is very helpful for, for customers who, who are not really on that stage as uh, other graphic arts customers. So they, they start with inkjet printing and they are not willing to do a, a big, big invest. So they can start with a, a stack 20 series and then they can grow with up with us and develop uh, depending on expanding the requirements so therefore we keep our previous generation in our product range not to forget but okay this is very important we are the leading company in developing manufacturing dynamic processor we have a wide range of applications and uh, we have more than 350 installations worldwide with our TC1550 HS series. What we are running, we are running dynamic perforations, vertical, horizontal. We can also integrate in dynamic file and hole punching. We can exchange uh, tools against scoring and uh, uh, creasing tools. We can, we have also static pin feed punching option. This is uh, very important for other finishing applications behind the processing. Everything is triggered and controlled with uh, data matrix codes or a mare or a barcode. We are running at high speed up to 230 meters and we are running at maximum web width of 22 inch. What is very important, uh, our products are field upgradable so this means we have e-models available what does e means okay we are talking about expandable systems so we have big 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 chassis and uh, you can you can you can start with one perforation or with two perforation cylinder and you can you can expand uh, when your application and the application from the customer side and, and requirements are much more complex then then you can add uh, cylinder or perforations wheel in field. As I said, we can also change tools against scoring and creasing tools. One case of Astria, and this is a very complex uh, installation with a, with a per perforator. 
as you see, the requirements of the distances of the perforations are really, really impressive. Why? Because this customer is doing mailings, postcard, but couponing become more and more and more important. And in this case, this customer is also using a static punching device, as you see here, because after that, he is also using a kind of collator, yes, processing this into a final product. Let us talk about roll to roll and our zero speed splicer, what is very unique in the in this world. What's 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 the story behind that? Okay, our goal is to achieve the highest production level of customer, and with the zero splicer we can we can reach this goal. This is not only a unwinder and rewinder, because this is this is the flexible unwinder and rewinder zero splicer. What you, what you can what you can get uh, in, in, the, in the in the complete market in, in theory you can you can run job by job using different paper and uh, unwinding to an, another roll so this means this is not only to to, to re to rewind or to unwind the, the complete roll as many many other manufacturers are doing this is very very complex system and especially running book for example yes in the very important market book book of one industry you can run very very short runs with one paper and then you can move to the next roll using an another paper and at that time you can also put in to the unwind the next paper so this is very flexible but what is very very important okay you will increase printer uptime so it's at least uh, roll change can take one to sometimes up to 10 or 50, 50 minutes. And depending on the, on the, on the, on the paper, uh, it is sometimes 30, 40 minutes running time, okay, when the paper is a little bit lighter, a little, a little bit longer. So you will ex reduce paper waste, you frequent startup and stop with the paper waste, you will save paper, you will increase your flexibility and enable application change. Applications requiring frequent roll chains or complex logistic management. This is very top for short runs when you're using different paper types and different paper widths. What is uh, a great number that we are supporting speeds up to 150 meters and also 250 GSM. Actually, we have also some requests, okay, talking about 300 GSM. What's new? Printers are getting faster and faster, so we are keeping up also with, with speed. So that means, okay, that our platform, our standard U9 and R9 are running up to 180 meters, and what our paper weight is up to 300 GSM. The Next, I do not want to talk about next generation, but we have modified we have modified our unknown rewinder, as you see, calling the new 50 and R50, then running up to 250 meters per minute, and uh, we have talked about more than 300 GSM. So this unwind and rewinder will be able to to process also 400 GSM. Who is using? Our zero splicer. We have many installations worldwide. Rattler is one of the first in, in Germany. In UK, we have a lot of installations, and uh, as well as in the US. What you can see is okay. We are talking about productivity gain. So, with a Techno zero splicer, for example, running with 80 GSM, the running time is up to by 500 foot fees per minute, 47 minutes. So the productivity gain is more than 21%. Running higher gravitures is with 110 uh, GSM. So the running time is 34 minutes. The productivity gain is 29%. So we can we can calculate for each customer. Uh, how fast he can he can reach the return on invest 
and uh, what we see and what we have checked okay this could be very very interesting especially when the customers are running more than at least two shifts but it is super exciting when the customer is running three shifts then the return on invest uh, uh, circle and time is very very near and close is also another by, uh, example okay california direct mailer what i want to tell here is that this customer for example started with the u9 and we have the growing path to the expanding to the zero splicer u40 uh, at least you can use the current installed u9 also for the zero speed splicer Yesterday, my colleague Scott talked about our cut sheet solutions. Uh, we are very strong also in this segment. Why? Because B3 printers and also B2 printers are becoming more and more, especially in the inject world. So we have introduced also Stack 1212 for B2 presses and what is one of our current product is the B3 family with uh, four existing uh, printing devices. Some words about the next upcoming event. As you mentioned, Martin Bakay, we are, we are in Poink right now, starting yesterday, a very big canon live event again. That's uh, super, everybody is, everybody is, is happy to, to, to be live on, on this event and <laughs> combining this uh, canon make it event with the Oktoberfest, what is also started in in Munich, uh, and as you know, two years there was no Oktoberfest due to the pan pandemic. Then we have the Horizon Finishing First event next week in Quickborn. Also a very interesting event for us in Germany with our partner Horizon. We have uh, also the Xycon Cafe in Lier in Belgium, October 5th and 6th. And as Scott yesterday also mentioned, a uh, very important uh, booth is the Printing United in Las Vegas also uh, in October. Then we you can see Stack 1212 and Revolution 50 and Stack 5251L. Then last but not least also the Domino difference. They have opened a complete new European uh, site in the Netherlands and uh, we will be also there. Maybe we can meet us with one or the other customer or prospect here in that area and in that event. Thank That's you. It. Thank you very much, Robert. Um, I have a little, uh, maybe a joke question before we get serious here. So, as you said, the uh, international company production in Sweden, Italy, and in the US, and you are from Germany, and you talk about Oktoberfest. What are you going to bring to Print United? Will it be Italian wine? Will it be uh, uh, German pilsners? Or will it be uh, Swedish meatballs from Ikea? <laughs> <laughs> it's a combination of, of everything. Yeah. <laughs> I think that the most, the most, the most important uh, topic and, and, and the best answer I, ca I can give, okay, these are live events and the live events are back. And uh, this is, I think, for us and for the customer, it's the, the 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 good the good message that that we can we can we can meet us in yeah. Italy with a perfect wine that we can meet us in Sweden with a, with a Swedish ball and uh, of course in the US with with a, with a good American uh, <laughs> hamburger and with steak and uh, what whatever. Fantastic, uh, Robert. Um, I can't help think about when you talked about. I mean, I think it was a great presentation. I mean, this amazing lineup of product you have. I was just thinking that when I see uh, and when you talk about the zero splicer, for me, it sounds like out of this world because I mean, the productivity gains you get if you have the volume for for printing and and of course, uh, uh, I mean, it's it's a uh, it is just amazing to think of that it's possible because they run pretty fast, right? Uh, yes, absolutely. Mm. So X, uh, we can, we can run with a zero splicer up to 150 meters, and we are we are now working. No, we are not working. Okay, it's it's uh, already uh, finished. That mm. we can we can run also much more higher speed with with a zero splicer. 
Fantastic. Okay, De depending on the on the paper, because you must be uh, of course, a bit yeah. careful. Okay, running with with higher gravitations, uh, then there are also some 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 limitations. It's mm. absolutely clear. If you uh, if you look at uh, the uh, at the zero splice, obviously that is for inline production of uh, uh, together with inkjet devices. Is there any? Dependency on what device? I mean, there's a, there must be some kind of software integration and uh, in between the the zero splice and how the machine operates, or how how does that work? Uh, it always de 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 depends. Okay, how we close uh, working close uh, with the engineering teams of the printer partners because okay, uh, for the zero splicer, yes, as well, you need you need to have a clear interfacing and uh, and engineering these discussions uh, with the printer partners because mm. you must you must go with the, with the supply through through the printer mm. and uh, these are very very important and interesting mm. topics in discussion with our printer partners so mm. uh, but I think all overall we are on the very good way we have mm -hmm. very good progress with, with HP. We have uh, very good progress with uh, Canon and as well with uh, with our friends from uh, Rico. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, when we met with Sato, they have the the Rico. Can remember? Is it sixty thousand or seventy thousand? They have. It's the seventy thousand. Seventy thousand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and if you if you look at uh, the speed and the quality and and also the the amount of work they produce, and I think it's increasing because. When we visited them, uh, it was still a relatively new uh, installation, and 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 they talked about also how postcards, for example, is changing the direct mail scene because the postage prices is getting higher. So, uh, the 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 entire line that you you have set up together with Rico is uh, is just an example of where the productivity gain can be something that is really uh, paying back the the equipment fast, right? Yes. <clears throat> Is that something uh, can you use? I mean, when you in in presentations like this uh, present uh, like showcases and case studies like you do here, is that also? I mean, it must be nice when you go out to new customers, and new prospects that you have pr uh, pr proof of concept, and uh, I mean, you have actually working experience in the in the field. How important is that uh, storytelling when you get out to new customers to to tell them that okay, Sattler Media is using this or this and this printing company is using? Is that something that is important uh, when you are in discussions, or is it very much down to the applications by the by the printer you're talking to? No, when we are talking about zero splicer using integrating with zero splicer, we are always talking about about performance mm -hmm. and uh, what what is the goal of uh, of all customer? Okay. Running, running big, big, big volumes and increasing uh, the uh, increasing the, the, the print amount. So mm -hmm. every time when we are talking about uh, zero splice, we are always talking about about highest production level, but again about the highest flexibility mm -hmm. running with a zero splicer. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this is perfect combination. On the one hand, you 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 can, you can run very high pr production level without any interruptions. Mm -hmm. So this means uh, uh, every time when 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 you need to change a roll, you have to you have to stop stop the printer. You have mm -hmm. a big uh, pa paper waste, and mm -hmm. you have interruption of at least <laughs> 10, 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. With a, with a zero splicer zero forty, uh, you can you can keep the system up and running. Yeah, but. But the next topic is that that we are also talking about the highest flexibility, and the highest yeah. flexibility means okay, that you can that you can also run different different media types. Yeah, because that is also what we spoke about with Sattler Media. Yeah, so you can have like uh, thicker paper, thin paper, or coded on code papers. So we basically can switch uh, also while printing, right? Uh, which is like where yeah. even even higher productivity gain because I think that some PSPs who are working only in cut sheet today or an offset sheet, uh, I think that sometimes they it's maybe not a big obstacle, but it is a change that go to to uh, to web offset basically because or web uh, digital because you basically need to to take into consider consideration the media flexibility. But with the zero splicer, that seems a bit easier, right? Yes, and this story is ready. So therefore, okay, we have uh, we have calculation. We have a calculation soon for for each customer, so we can calculate the complete paper demand. Mm. We can we can at least okay calculate uh, with the customer okay when he gives 
us all the information, how many roles uh, he is uh, using per year, per month, and which parameters. So we have a big calculation tool, so we can we can count uh, and describe him the return on invest uh, on a very short time. So mm -hmm. customer, feel free to ask us. We are talking about uh, zero splicer forty and. We can provide and offer you the top calculations so you can see, okay, what is the economics behind that. Fantastic. And with that said, Robert, I want to thank you very much. And you see, we spent almost an hour anyway, so, you know, times fly by, right? So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very much, uh, sir. It was uh, great uh, to listen to you and it was also great talking to you. And uh, I wish you all the best and uh, you will be in Quickborn next week. Uh, no, unfortunately, no, I'm not on you. a short vacation next ah, week. So, okay, but, but you have a dessert but my, vacation. But <laughs> my best colleague, Stefan Klier and I'm Jan will be at uh, the Horizon event. Okay, I look forward to see them. Thank you very much. And uh, just uh, for the audience watching this, uh, we now have a two hours and ten minutes break before we see uh, Müller Martini. Uh, uh, and they have a customer from the U.S. going to tell them how they are using their equipment. So uh, who knows, maybe it's a, a tech now uh, a solution in front of the of the Murder Martini. You never know, right? And I don't know it yet. So let's see what happens and uh, see you here at 2 p.m. European time or uh, 1400 CET. Thank you very much and thank you, Robert. Thank you very much, okay, to all the audience. Morten, have a good time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.